Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Uncharted 2, the Nathan, or Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Man, remastered trilogies here really have huge ass titles. Someone else made it in here before us. Let's hope we have better luck making it out. Yeah. These bodies look like they've been here 60, 70 years. Hey. Didn't seem to do them much good, but here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, the Zarovich and his crew will have headed into the city, so if we can just make it back to the entrance, it should be clear by now. Uh, no, Chloe, we're going after the Chintamani stone. <laughs> what? We have to stop Lazarovich. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? Get to the stone first before he does and destroy it. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're buying into all that supernatural nonsense. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, well, just in case you missed it, that man is certifiable. He thinks he's fulfilling some sort of prophecy that the stone will somehow make him invincible. Immortal. <laughs> We're standing in the middle of Shambhala and you're questioning what's possible? Yeah, you saw how many bullets they pumped into those things? Something strange is going on here. All the more reason why we should get out while we still can. Uh, I'm just trying to set things right. And maybe save the world? Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, Sunshine. The world <laughs> doesn't care. You stick your neck out, you are asking to lose your head. You said yourself you want to take this guy down. Yes, and I want to see him pay more than you do. <sighs> But that's not how it will end. This, this is how it will end. No, not this time. <sighs> Come on. What do you say? That you're crazy. But let's go save your bloody world. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, fuck me. You got... <coughs> ah, fuck me. Uh, you guys are about to witness why it is that I opted to play this one on easy instead of on normal like I did with the first one. You are about to see the biggest piece of shit enemies uh, ever put into Uncharted. Oh, there we go. I'll need those for sure. So these are the Guardians. They fucking are bullshit, asshole, bullet sponges. Yeah, look at that. See, look at grenade right at his feet. Nothing. Zero fucks have been given. Oh, look at that. Now he's pissed. Oh, and now he's raging out and he'll charge. So they do do that when uh, that's how you tell that they're almost dead. It's because then they'll get really pissy at you and charge, unfortunately. It's like this guy here, I'm not going to grenade at all. And just look at the amount of bullets it's taking. Uh, these guys here, I think it was on my hard playthrough. This, even on hard, this part of it took me forever. I usually don't have too much, like, or I say usually, I mean, out of the two games that I had played, or out of the one game before, you know. On like on the first one, I didn't have too much difficulty on hard. Like it wasn't bad. It wasn't easy. That's like I'm not gonna say oh it was really easy. Uh but it wasn't that bad. As far as hard difficulties go, it wasn't too bad until I reached wow, that explosion made me switch shoulders. Also, where the fuck did he go? Oh. Uh oh yeah, and then they also throw in these guys. This still isn't the worst part. This is where you get introduced to them. Uh there is only the three. But on hard, this part here took me forever uh, because look at how many bullets they're taking. Like, it's ridiculous. And yes, headshots would do more damage here, but even headshots don't do enough in this. So what you want to do is get their crossbows. Uh, trade out your crossbows and use the pistols on any humans you come across. And use the crossbow on them and make sure you fucking hit them. Because their crossbows, I uh, I don't think... They, they'll probably in, uh, one-shot them here on easy. I don't think they one-shot them. I think it takes two shots. 
on the higher difficulties also can't rapid fire them like they were like where they would fire three in a row you can't do that uh you can only fire once and then have to reload how they were firing three in a row no idea um but yeah then there's one part later on that is the absolute worst and then the higher the difficulty the worse it got uh the only reason only reason and i'm not ashamed to admit this that i managed to do it on brutal and on crushing or no crushing and brutal i guess would be the proper way to say it since you don't go up in difficulty um oh yeah so we have some goo here that we can shoot and it goes boom uh the only reason i survived was because i had the one hit or one hit ko tweak on only reason not ashamed to admit it and you will see why once we get there uh, I won't be turning it on for this difficulty, but man, will I ever be tempted. So this part here is a good part that cuts out a little bit of time for speedrunning, right? Because uh, what you can do here is you can take cover there and then aim around the corner and pop out. And then you'll be on the other side of this blockage and you can just... Because the thing you need to shoot is on the other side, like the goo that you need to shoot is on the other side. So if you do that, you can just get around the other way and be done with it and not have to go through this it's not the biggest time saver but considering that most of the speedrun strategies that i looked up i couldn't duplicate uh just mainly because i didn't know how to do it see like it once you get up here you go boop which lets you do this Ugh. there we go and once you get here you can see up top and douche. there you go so yeah, if you do like I did at the beginning there, you can just like glitch your way through the wall. Uh, this one here is significantly harder to break, apparently, than the first one. Because uh, the first one, I had speedrun strategies all over the place. Like, r like all over the place. I was fucking like bugging through the game and whatnot. I didn't really do it on the speedrun, <laughs> weirdly enough. Uh, most of the speedrun strategies that I employed were during the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The crushing... No, the brutal playthrough. I don't think I did any during crushing either. Uh, and I know I didn't do any on hard. But the... Uh, so this part here sucks as well. Not nearly as much as other parts. But like, you see how he won't do anything there? That's actually what you have to do. But you can't do it until you take care of these guys that show up here. So now this part here, you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, I find that the pistol works well enough that you don't have to worry about... Well, granted, once again, I am on easy. Oh god, that's right, I forgot about that. They do have one of the giant fuckers here. Uh, but you do have both Chloe and Elena up there helping you. Uh, like I said, they do thankfully do damage. You know what, I'm gonna... Also, I think I missed. I think I bloody missed. Ah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that crossbow is a pretty solid one-hit KO. You can also, if you can fucking out fuck hit it, there is the blue goo all over the place. Oh shit, armored guy. Oh, I don't want to use this though because I would be some of them showing up. Oh, that's fine. They already knocked off his armor. Um. So, like, you can lead them around the place, and the blue goo here does come back. Nope. Made you drop it. Oh, apparently he really dropped it. Uh, but, yeah, the blue goo, I think, grows back. I see that it hasn't over there. I don't remember exactly how long it takes to grow back. But the blue goo is also a good way to get rid of the, uh, the guardians. They take a lot of damage from it. Okay, there's got to be a regular old asshole around here somewhere uh now you would think picking up the uh where the fuck picking up the big gatling gun there oh there he is oh shit uh would be a good way to get rid of those guys the guardians it is not do not pick it up you will be fucked uh ow 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 frick 
Oh, yes, and it dropped down. Nice, because I don't think I can get back up there to pick up that first one. Um, but no, because you can't move while you shoot it. Yes. Uh, which is a big, big no-no. Can I get back up there, maybe? No, I can't. Oh, well. Uh, because when you're fighting the Guardians, you do not want to get hit by those fucking, uh, 63 or, uh, I think I'll... Now I'll take the, I'll keep the micro for now, the micro Uzi. Um, cause yeah, they fucking suck. The Gatling guns. I, I, granted, I never even tried to use them outside of, I think on my first playthrough on hard was the only one and only time I tried to use it. And cover is so important in this game. Like so important that you just basically can't, uh, go without it. So the fact that you can't get into cover, you can't, you move really slow while you aim and that with it, it's just not good. Also, since the last time, uh, I did finally start Uncharted 3. I'm about, I think the save file said 56% done, uh, where I left off last time. I did that all in one day and then, oh yeah, that's right, these guys. This part here also really sucks on the higher difficulties, the one thing you have to really remember is that there's that guy up there. He will uh, fuck you up. But there's also, I want to say four armored dickheads that show up. Boom. There we go. Nope. Fuck it. There we go. There's still another armored guy over there. He just threw a grenade. Also found out. Uh, oh yeah, the reason I bring up number three is because uh, found out that there's actually a throwback feature in number three for grenades that they don't actually tell you about. Uh, whenever a grenade gets thrown near you though, it does have the little, it, it has like a little timer on it. And if you hit triangle at the right time, oh God, I'm almost out of bullets for this. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch for now. Uh, if you hit triangle at the right time, he will, Nathan will throw it back. There we go. That was bullshit. It totally hit him in the head. Uh, I'm just going to advance with the M4 and maybe come back for that crossbow. Because like I said, the crossbow is pretty fucking important uh, for those guys. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a grenade launcher here. Well, I'll take this. Uh, the grenade launcher also works well. Uh, explosions basically are more or less the only things that fucking hurt them. Uh, and you seem to get, like, I don't know if it's actually advanced ones or not, but, like, the uh, grenades that you fire, right? Uh, oh, fuck. Come back. There we go. They have all that blue stuff, like the goo. So I don't know if that means that they have, uh, like, if they're better explosions, if they're, like, enhanced by the blue goo somehow. There's the crossbow. Uh, but they, I don't, and I don't even know if they do much more damage because you don't get grenade launchers in this nearly as often as you did in the first one. Uh, and I still have no bullets in my pistol slot and none of these assholes would have dropped a pistol. Uh, but I don't, oh, fuck. Oh, well. Uh, oh shit, that's right, because there's more guys here too, isn't there? Did you have your gun down here? Nope. Uh, but yeah, start, like, the first thing that I will say about Uncharted 3 is Chloe is with you right at the beginning. Ugh. And, uh, man. So, obviously Uncharted 3 would have came out closer to the end of the PlayStation 3's life cycle. But, don't oh, come on. Uh, so, you know, technically it wouldn't have needed as much of an improvement as 1 and 2. But let me tell you, they really seem to take that to heart and, like, not give it any improvement whatsoever. Like, they, like, Chloe and Elena's in it too. Shocking. Uh, they look like absolute shit. Like, everybody looks like garbage, and that's comparing it to this game. Like, that, like, that's the thing. It's like, if I was comparing it to, like, Uncharted 4 or The Lost Legacy or something. It's like, well, yeah, of course it looks like crap. I mean, it's a remastered version. 
of of uh, old game. It, you know, it's going to look better than the original, but not as good as if it was new. It's like that's fine. But here's the thing: it like number three looks worse than the other two remastered games that came with it. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, Chloe looks like absolute shit in it. Like. They gave her, I don't know if it's just the hairdo, but it looks weird, and Elena looks weird, and Nate looks weird, and Sully looks weird. Like, everybody Shit. just looks off. So now this part here is the part I was talking about. It is absolute garbage, bullshit, uh, assholes that made this part. So, now you might think, what the fuck am I doing getting this close, right? Like, I must be suicidal. Okay, that crossbow did not do anything to him. Like, I must be suicidal to get that close. You have to. Like, that's the that's the sad part, is you have to get up here. Oh, got that guy. Oh, come on. Now you've got to almost be dead. Boom. Come on, come on. Die, die, die. Ah, there we go. Because if you don't advance... Uh, those guys that come out of that room never stop. And I mean never. I didn't realize that that's what... Elena, do you mind? I didn't realize that that's what was happening. Oh god, this thing does fucking work on easy. Uh, so I was standing... There's a... The guns in this room do infinitely respawn. Uh, as do the enemies. <laughs> And uh, I was standing on the other side of this because it's like, oh, well, I mean, the enemies are coming through here. Why the fuck would I come this way, right? Uh, yeah, so I was standing on the other completely opposite side of the room. Uh, fighting over and over and over. Uh, and just killing so many guys that it's fucking ridiculous. Including the Guardian guys. I mean, I was killing them. It wasn't easy, but you know what? It, it, I had more or less infinite ammo. I mean, I was only getting like a clip at a time, but I mean, I had the clip. Uh, that was just constantly respawning. But yeah, if you don't advance, I don't know exactly where you have to advance to. I would just run in here because, you know, obviously on the hard difficulties, I had the uh, infinite ammo and the uh, one hit kill. On, so like I would run in there like a fucking madman and just hope that I would live. So this M4 here respawns. I imagine that other ones do too, but that's the one I use. And I was just over here fighting guys, well, for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, if you don't, so like I would just run into the room uh, and just stand there because I would make it there with enough time that like one more spawn of enemies would show up. Uh, so I'd wipe them out and then I'd just have to try and survive and clear out the room out there. It took me so many tries because of how fast you die. Uh, <clears throat> so we are, this is going to be the last episode. I wasn't a hundred percent on that when I, before I started recording, but now that I see that we're here, it's definitely the last episode. No, no if, ands or buts about it. Uh, it's not even going to be a full hour long, I don't think. Which is nice, because, you know what? Finished Assassin's Creed last week, uh, Brotherhood. Or no, this week will be the last Assassin's Creed Almost video. Uh, well, Brotherhood video, because I do the Da Vinci Disappearance this week. But both of them over an hour long, the last two. There it is. The Chintamani Stone. I can't believe we beat them here. It's beautiful. Yep. Magnificent. <clears throat> now let's smash it and get the hell out of here. Uh, wait. Something's not right. What do you mean? Marco Polo had it wrong. This isn't a sapphire, it's amber. Amber? Yeah, you know, fossilized resin. It's tree sap. Wait a minute. What is it? You gotta be shitting me. Hello, Nate. I hate it when he does this. Tell me about it. How could I have missed it? Missed what? There's not actually a stone. It's the resin, the sap from the Tree of Life. Okay, hold on. Now you've lost me. This tree. No. That tree.
There he is. Lazarevich. He's headed to the tree. Oh my god. The black teeth. What? The black teeth on those guardian things and the bodies in Borneo. They ate the resin. And it changed them somehow. And you think that's what Lazarevich is planning to do? What, you really want to wait around and find out? Bravo, shut up. <laughs> well done. Flynn? Jesus. Oh, Harry. What's the matter, mate? Disappointed Lazarevich beat you to it? I'm afraid you just missed him. Figured I'd stay behind and wait for you to come join my little party. What are you talking about? Maybe that's what old Soren wanted all along, eh? He's cleverer than he looks. Well, we can still stop him. Elena, don't. No, we can help you. Sorry, love. This isn't a movie. And you're not the plucky girl who reforms the villain and saves the day. It's just not done like that. Flynn, listen to me. You... Parting gift from the Zarevich. Pity he took the pin. Get back! Elena! <laughs> no. Oh my god. Helena! Okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. Come on. Stop, Lazarevich. Go. Not a chance. Come on. You cover us. Right, this way. Right. So yeah, oh. Elena got blowed up. No, not Elena. Uh I guess I guess you know the fact that I've already said that she's in the next game kind of gives away that she lives through this, but I mean it's a video game. The girl usually lives through it. I mean, there's very few games, and Uncharted has never really been one that looked like they were going to do it where, you know, they'll actually kill someone. Man, throwing back grenades. I never thought I'd miss it because it's just such garbage. It's so pointless in the third one to throw back grenades because when you do it, he you have to look at the grenade for one. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, to actually throw it back. But then he picks it up and throws it like if he's just throwing a grenade. So you're never going to be looking at the guy who threw it. Now there is, uh, I don't know if it's a trophy or just like an in-game reward. Oh wait, was that a pistol? Cause, there we go. Um, no, not that, the fucking one hit kill one, please, thank you. Uh, but there's like throwback master or something. I imagine that it's an actual trophy because they do, it seems like one that would be one. God, and if I get them in the head, I think they still die. Yeah. And there we go. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if it's just to throw back grenades because I never actually looked at it, or if it's to uh, uh, kill somebody by throwing back grenades. Man, I get a lot of fuck. Well, I mean, I say a lot of ammo for it. You never get a lot of ammo for these things. None of the insta kills give you a lot of ammo, which is fine because it would make it way too fucking easy. I think that's the last of them. Hey. Hey, Elena, how you doing, huh? Not good. You just hang in there, okay? I'm counting on you. Head for the gate. Go as fast as you can. What, what, what do you mean? No. No way. Look, Chloe, I have to end this. No, you don't. Don't you dare take on this stupid crusade. <clears throat> Just get her out of here. Not without you. Look, if that stuff could really transform Lazarevich and his army. Please don't do this. If it could actually make him invincible, and I didn't try to stop it. But this is suicide. And you know it. Just go. Get as far away from this place as you can. All right, so now we are headed into the final fight. Uh, so one thing that would be good if you have the infinite ammo on, 
would probably to pick up one of those grenade launchers from earlier and keep it to here. Because uh, all that's left is a boss fight for this game. And this boss isn't as bad as people made it out to be. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they change out your guns, by the way, as well. Not that it's too important. So this guy here, there's two ways to beat him. Uh, that right there is... The pretty much how you want to do it way. Uh, you don't generally want to stand there and let him shoot you like that. Uh, but he will chase you around here. Uh, is that close enough? Oh, it was. Okay. Uh, so you want to just lead him past those and keep blowing them up. Uh, he will chase you around. He isn't quite as dumb as you would think. Like he'll do stuff like that and whatnot. And some of the sap or the resin here doesn't respawn. Uh, there is an achieve or a trophy for this game to uh... oh whoops I hit the wrong button to kill this guy uh, without dying. So now this one here is a little bit more difficult to hit him with. Uh, oh whoops, that's the other way to do it. By the way, is with grenades. You can grenade the fuck out of him, which is how you want to do it on the higher difficulties with infinite ammo. Is because uh, the grenades will stun him. Uh, with enough time for the next grenade to get out and go off. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, got him. Uh, so uh, that's why I say if you bring the grenade launcher, it works well because you can just directly hit him with it. Um, another strategy you can use is if he does catch up to you, at some point he will. Oh god. Uh, grab you. Oh, good. There's another grenade. That'll help. And uh, you can fight him off. If you do that, okay, where is he coming from? Oh god. Oh, is that gonna pull up my resin? No, no. Oh fuck. See, now that's why I said that one's a little bit trickier to hit him with, just because he, you know, if you peek just enough out of cover, he will shoot at you, and there's no way he's not hitting that. Uh, you gotta be careful doing that on the higher difficulties, where you're jumping and Nate decides to fucking. Uh, grab a hold of something and fuck you hard. Uh, so pretty much whenever you pick up a grenade, you want to pop them with something and then pop them with a grenade. Uh, it's, as far as i concerned, the easiest way to do it. Oh, got him again. Uh, this boss battle also runs off of the logic of if somebody had a healing factor, you could overload it. Like, that's pretty much all you're doing is just trying to overload his healing factor so that it it stops so like he will won't be able to regenerate anymore um but yeah if you do this it's not the most interesting boss fight i mean sadly enough the one from uncharted one while not 
Well, I, I don't know if you'd consider it harder or not. I guess it depends on how you look at it. Um, oh, fucking, I, I can't believe I fucking missed that. You can fall off, by the way. Like, there is uh, holes here where you can just die. Uh, it's a very lame way to die, and yes, I have done it before. I think that you can fall down and die in this. Not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure you can. But yeah, as you heard him... Oh, God. He starts throwing, like, more and more grenades at you at once. Like, he just throws, like, hand... Well, I say handfuls of grenades just because it's more than one. Uh, but in reality, a handful of grenades is, like, one, maybe two. Oh, God. The dodge and take cover button being on the same kind of sucks. And, yeah, that's it. You do it enough and he dies. It's not hard. I beat him without dying on my first playthrough on hard. It wasn't nearly as bad as people made it out to be. But you're no different from me, Drake. How many men have you killed? How many just today? That's it, boy. No compassion. No mercy. Huh? Do it! No. <laughs> you don't have the will. Maybe not. But they do. Holy shit. All right. So yeah, that was the final boss. Like I said, not the most interesting fight, but if you want to survive it, that's what you gotta do. So another strategy people use for it is to let him, uh, is to get near one of the respawning resin patches there and let him catch them. Uh, Cause it's not too hard to break out and you can break out fast enough, even on the highest difficulty before he does any damage to you. So what they'll do is they'll just uh, purposely get caught there. Cause then he's there. And then as soon as you break out, uh, you get a couple seconds to shoot the resin. It hurts him, and he picks you up. I think he picks you up, and you break out twice before the resin regrows. And then you can just keep doing that over and over. Uh, but I prefer just running in circles, because it's not that hard. Oh no, that one's not dead. I like how they have the thing up there. So this part here... Uh, as far as I know, you do actually have to shoot this guy to kill her, or to kill him, to help her. I don't know if you can fail. Like, it might be one of those where you're going to slide infinitely, no matter how long it takes you to do it. You have the uh, time to do it. But on the other hand, it's uncharted, so there probably is a failure point to it. But yeah, that's the end of the game. Just cutscenes till the end. Up we go. Come on, sunshine. What the hell did you do back there? Oh, you know, save the world. You got her? Oh, yeah, I wanted to bring this up. This city is open to the sky. There's no way that he couldn't have found it with a helicopter in the general area. Let's go. Or satellite imagery or something. Hold on, all right? Just hold on. Come on, stay with us. You're gonna be okay, all right? You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be just fine. Elena, don't do this. Elena! So, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? Yes, it has. 
You know, you should play the hero more often. Suits you. Nah. <laughs> Tell me something, Nate. What? Do you love her? Chloe, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Really, it's all right. Just do yourself a favor, cowboy. Tell her. Chloe. No. My turn to walk away. But admit it. You're gonna miss this ass. <laughs> well, look who's not supposed to be out of bed. Yeah. He's a lousy patient. Stubborn as all hell. I'm not stubborn, I'm just restless. <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. <laughs> and you're sure of that? Yes. <laughs> just a metaphor, I'm afraid. Metaphor ain't gonna pay your bills, kid. Well, something else will come along. Just gotta have faith. Yeah. That and a quarter will get you 25 cents. <laughs> uh, which way'd Chloe go? See you later. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a dirty old man, Sullivan. Uh-huh. <laughs> you did good, Nate. I think he'd approve. Yeah? Uh-huh. Where do we go from here, huh? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. Good. So, on a scale of one to ten, how scared were you that I was gonna die? Four. Four? Yeah, why? A four. four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? Clowns. <laughs> clowns <laughs> over my death? I, I clowns. hate clowns. I hate clowns. Oh, my word. You thought I was dead. No. No, you thought I was no, gone. No. Yes, you did. No, I, I saw had you, you all shed all. tears. Yeah. You shed a bunch of them. Tears? Mm -hmm. It was raining. No, it was not. You were unconscious and it was raining. It was totally sunny out and you were bawling. It wasn't sunny. You were unconscious. Whatever. I kept your tears in a jar. I have proof. I'll give you five. How's that? <laughs> oh. oh, what a bunch of morons. So yeah, that was Uncharted 2. I will say, probably better story-wise than the first one, but not as good gameplay-wise. Uh, everything just seemed off. The enemies took too much damage, uh, especially the Guardians at the end. Uh, they actually had an area with infinitely spawning enemies, which is never a good idea in any game. Uh, but overall, still a great game. Still enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I'm currently enjoying the third one. We'll probably, hopefully we'll have it finished. Well, hopefully I will have it finished before I start recording in it. Uh, and like I said before, the only reason I need to make sure that I finish it before I start recording it is because I can't record on my PS4 and have sound at the same time. Because if I turn on the speakers, it'll come through over my microphone and I'll sound like shit. Uh, and if I plug headphones into my controller, then I don't get any audio on my recording or game audio on my recording, which also sucks. Uh, so yeah, next week we will start up uh, a multiplayer cast. I mean, they took the multiplayer out of this. Was that? Well, I guess some of these guys probably did voices in the game, not just whatever. Uh, stunt performer, sure. Uh, but yeah, next week we will start in Uncharted 3. So far, I'm enjoying it. Seems to have a pretty decent story. Gives you a little bit more backstory uh, with Nate and Sully, which I thought was pretty. I thought it was pretty well done. A lot of times when they do that, it kind of gets shitty. 
Uh, and maybe, who knows, by the time I finish Uncharted 3, maybe Uncharted 4 will be on sale. And I can buy it and we can just continue with Uncharted because I'm really enjoying the series. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing Uncharted 3, Uncharted 4, Lost Legacy, maybe at some point, although probably not for a while after 3. I mean, I'm not even sure if I'll get four before I finish the playthrough or before I finish the videos in three. So we'll just have to see how it goes and hope that I get lucky on a sale or something. Or you know what? Christmas is coming up. It's the end of October. So who knows? Maybe I'll get Uncharted 4 for Christmas. We'll just have to wait and see. But until then, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.